A rare thing in the world of Kamen Rider games. Why so? Because it's English? America English! So I guess bug-eyed bastards from America? Um, but yeah, that's right. Kamen Rider Dragon Knight for the Wii and, uh, and the DS, I suppose. It's adapted from the American TV series of the same name, which is adapted from the Japanese series, Kamen Rider Yuki. Uh, so there's a lot of adap adaptations going on there. Um, and let's be frank, I've not 100% finished the Wii game, or the DS game, and a very lack of going to talking about the DS game. And I kind of gave up and hit a wall, even though I actually like both the games, both versions of it. It's just a bit tedious on both of them. So break down. So for <laughs> anyone familiar with Tower of Dragonite, which I don't think many are, it was the second ever attempt to bring in the franchise Western. Um, and they would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for them kicks. And what I mean by that is the channel airing over in the States canned it before the final episodes were shown. Um, but they have been put online for streaming. I can't remember what website it was, but it's probably not there anymore. So it did get a full release, just not aired on TV. Um, but apparently, Dragon Knight was quite popular in Japan, where it saw home media releases, which is really strange considering the last adaptation was pretty much universally hated. Which means I fucking loved it. And by the way, that is Shaban's Max Rider. On a distant and embattled planet called Edenoi, a young prince named Dex is given great powers by his grandfather, the king, and is sent to the planet Earth to protect it from the advancing evil of Count Dragon and his vicious insectoids. Once on Earth, he is adopted by a kind family and learns to live as a human. With his companion, Furbus, by his side, Dex is ever vigilant, ready at a moment's notice to call on his powers to become masked. Um. For the Dragonite game, none of the actors from either the unaired but linked onto the internet pilot or the TV series which did air reprised their roles in the game. However, in a strange twist of fate, Johnny Young Bosch, the Power Rangers, and way too many fucking anime to name their voices, the titular rider and his dark brooding Sam Raimi Spider Man 3S clone. Um, so, what if the game it's, it's a fight, you silly goose? Yeah, quite generic fighter, but I like it. It's easy, not really complex. It's basically just a hijack version of the Japanese PS2 game, Kamen Rider Climax Heroes, which I do have. Um, I will be showing at some point, doing a review of that. But it makes sense because it was developed by the same team. Um, in the game, again, there's an arcade mode and a Ventara mode. Is that how is it? Is that what it counts? Ventana? Um, anyway, the Ventana mode is like a brawler, but not a very good one. Um, you need to complete both these modes um, with pretty much everyone to unlock everything 100%, which is why you can see I have not 100% of the game. After I unlocked all the rides in the game, I call it Quitch. Quitch? Quitch! Which is quite decent as it does contain all the rides from the TV series. Um, I think that it doesn't have the Japanese Alternative Zero who I think in the American series was someone else. I can't quite remember, I'll try and put something in if I do remember. Um, but yeah, I didn't really see the need to unlock all the Advent cards as it pretty much gives you the final link card for each of the riders as default when you unlock them, which is the like, finisher attack. Um, so just to briefly mention the DS one, so I've got some footage here. Unfortunately, I don't have a free DS capture card anymore, so I've had to record it via camera at the 3DS. Um, you may have noticed I've recorded some 3DS footage the other day. That was because I can still capture 3DS games, I just can't capture DS games. Anyway, getting back on. The DS game, it was developed by a different studio. However, it's kind of the same, but more longer and drawn out. And I've pretty much unlocked nothing on it. Because like I said, it's I was pretty much fatigued, burned out by the time I got to this point. Um, it's a brawl fighter, as again as, as before. It's quite impressively graphic, like graphic-wise for a DS game, and I do want to spend more time with it when I'm not on a massive burnout. And again, it's still got the same like riders from the series, as far as I can tell, but I've not played too much of it. Anyway, if, if you're a Carmen Rider fan, no, Carmen Rider, Carmen Rider fan, you'll probably enjoy these games. If you're not, because you're not a man child like me, 
and maybe just give them a miss. Unless you're filling in collections, um, filling in collection gaps really, or just want to collect fighting games. Um, there was a Japanese Kamen Rider Yuki game, which is obviously what Dragon Knight was based on. That was released on the PlayStation. If I get a chance, I'll maybe get some footage of that put in, but now I've got to hold my breath. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Bye.